two particles of mass five and one hang from a smooth pulley at ends of a, ends of a light string. The system is released from rest after one second. The one kg mass picks up a particle of two. So the same as the previous question, the example. We need to get what's going on here with our forces. We've got a five and a one. So we have a five and a one. So the five is going to fall in this direction. And the one is going to rise. Putting your tension on. Putting your mg. So this one's just going to be one mg. This one five. And creating our equations, we're going to get five g minus t equals five a. And we're going to get t minus g is equal to one a. Solving these minus g plus t equals a will give four g equals 6a so a is going to be 4g over 6 or 2g over 3 ms to the minus 2 and we're asked what distance will the 5 kg fall in the first second so we're told t is equal to 1 we're looking for s we have a is 2g over 3 and we have it starting from s u is equal to 0 so this brings in the formula s is equal to ut plus a half at squared. So the distance traveled, zero times one if you want to put it in, plus a half times the acceleration, which is 2g over three times one squared, which is just one. So the distance traveled, canceling your twos, it's just going to be g over three in meters. And then what distance will the five kg travel or fall in the second second so this is the conservation of momentum so it's picked up the system is released from rest and after one second it picks up another two so let's do our equations first we've got a five now and we've got a two plus one we've got a three t five g then we've got three g t t acceleration we'll call it b because it's changed it's going in this direction b so solving these, we are going to get 5g minus t, the same equation again, is equal to 5a. And we're going to get, if we put it in like this, we're going to get t minus 3g is equal to 3a. So 3g minus 3g plus t is equal to 3a. We call it b, but we'll, we'll change it back to b now in a sec. So 2g is equal to 8a, so our new acceleration a is 2g over 8 which is equal to g over 4 ms to the minus 2 so that's b b therefore b equals g over 4 ms to the minus 2 and then we need the speed that it was traveling in just before it picked up that new weight so the speed in the first second we have t is equal to 1 the system is released from rest we're looking for the speed so we call it vv and we knew that the acceleration in the first part was 2g over 3. So v is equal to u plus at. So the speed of the system after one second is starting from rest. So we have a 2g over 3 times 1. So the speed is just 2g over 3 meters per second. The initial system had six five and one six so six was the initial system and it was traveling at this, this speed of 2g over 3 then the system changes to an 8 and it has a new speed so 12g is equal to 24v so the new speed is going to be 2g over 2 g over 2 meters per second for the distance the 5k will fall in a second second okay so we have the second second t is equal to 1 we have our new acceleration and our new speed and t is equal to 1 so s is equal to ut plus a half a t squared so the distance traveled is going to be the speed is g over 2 times 1 plus a half the acceleration is g over 4 times 1 squared so we're going to get g over 2 plus g over 8 g over 2 
plus g over 8 so that's going to be 8g plus 2g over 16 to do it the long way 16 10g over 16 which is 5g over 8 that will be in meters